In Tableau 24.2, you can now choose custom schedules for Tableau Prep. I'm inside a flow on Tableau Cloud. This flow actually powers my Tableau Pulse demo data set. Um, if we go in and just edit it very briefly, you'll see that all it does is it takes all the dates and shifts them forward by a certain number of days and it runs once a month. It's actually got a schedule already. It runs once a month and then it outputs that data source and then this data source is what goes into Tableau Pulse. So I can always go into Pulse and have something to demo. <laughs> so when you're inside of Tableau Prep, I'm in web authoring. Um, equally, if you were doing this on desktop, you'd have to do this this way anyway. You get this new option here on the top right. You can go ahead and hit schedule. And all this does is, is it opens the schedule tab on the same flow. So if you see, it throws me to a new browser tab and it opens up this option just to show you that this is exactly the same as this entry starting here in the overview, going to the schedule task, and you'll see that the task is already here. Now, what I can do is I can set a new task just to show you how this works. Now, when you're setting up tasks in Tableau Prep, you can do something called link task. Link tasks allow you to say, hey, when this job finishes, do this job next. We don't need that in this case, so we don't need to go to the second tab. We can just go stay in this first tab, define a schedule. And when you go here, you actually have a bit more flexibility to choose your options. You can essentially choose this drop down, choose whether you want hourly, weekly, daily, then choose that cadence and then choose the time and then choose the days of the week and then you have your schedule. So if I wanted to set something to run every single month and um, on the last day of the month, I can just go ahead and pick the last day of the month. Tableau figures that out, so you don't have to do all that hard work. Some businesses sometimes do the 28th of every month because that's always a day that's in every month, but the last day of the month is actually quite useful if you have a specific schedule that needs to happen on that day. So we, 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 we are pretty much good. What I don't like about this is when you click out, <laughs> if you don't hit save, it forgets everything. And it, I've just gotten out of habit of clicking out without saving because that is actually a pattern that's available elsewhere in the product. So I'll just go ahead and do all of that again, which is last day of the month, hit save. And now that it's done that, we get this text updated here to tell us that that schedule is now there. Now you can choose a specific output to put into this task. So maybe you only want one of the outputs to go out at the end of the month, but all the others to happen uh, some other time. There's actually a good way of merging multiple bits of a flow into one flow, and then just scheduling the different parts of it to output at different times. So that's another sort of trick that you can do. And then at the bottom is this tiny little option that allows you to send an email when it's done. You can type the email, you can set it up. This is good for sending an email to someone in the business to tell them, hey, the dashboard that you use that's driven by this prep flow, it's been updated. So you can go ahead and do that um, and then go ahead and create the task. And that is it. That's a custom schedule for Tableau Prep. This actually came out in 24.2. I'm covering it now. I'm very late to the game, but hey, I've got gaps to fill. We're making content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.